eight of wands reversed. So maybe nothing's changing anytime soon. Um, I feel like there's very slow progress going on here. I do feel like there's a complete lack of communication, just um, cause that's what both of these cards say. And when you have a major arcana or arcana, then um, those tend to take a lot of precedence over the reading. And when it matches a minor arcana, then I'm seeing no communication, no dialogue. You're just, some of you may just plain be getting out. Like I'm getting out, I'm not saying anything, I'm just getting out. I don't want to talk anymore, I'm just done. Let's clarify Eight of Wands as you're coming towards you. Because it can be a lot of things. Yeah, because I'm mean, I getting this feeling like quick and easy. You guys aren't thinking about it anymore. You're not talking. You're just doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is also about a belief as well. This is cutting somebody out. It's um, cutting through bad communication, if there is some bad communication. But this is like, uh, I have to not talk. I have to leave. I have to change this belief or make it clearer to myself. Um, and that can be why the Eight of Wands, here this is something, both of these are saying have to really quickly. But this one's reversed. So now it's saying I have to slow down. This is saying I have to think about it over and over and over again. This is saying I have to not think about it anymore. Or at least take my time thinking about it, you know, slowly, really considering something. Um, but this is, it could be very much a belief or a passion with that Ace of Swords, um, as well as, you know, cutting someone out. I feel like there, somebody may have lost some passion and they, they're, they're saying, I have to get this back. Yeah. Somebody from the past, holding on to the past. Um, again, here's somebody offering a cup. It's like it's not being offered. Here's somebody offering it. Could be a water sign, especially Cancer or Scorpio, because these cards are relevant, but it could be a Pisces as well. Um, any sign as well. I feel like this offer is being turned down. There's just too much stuff in the past. We're like, you know, we have kids, you know, we have this history together, and it's still being turned down. Um, there definitely is some kind of offer, possibly an apology from the past, and that's good, but you're still going to move on from this. Yeah, and this may come very, um, well, it can come unexpectedly, but at the same time, you've always kind of expected it, but you just didn't know it was coming at this particular point in time um, because the fool's reversed, and that's a surprise card, so it's like it's kind of a surprise, but kind of not. And then, of course, the eight of wands reverses communication. Um, the empress reverses the communication. Both of those eights hasn't been happening. Um, and then the Ace of Swords all of a sudden comes in. So I do feel like there can be an offer. Just for people who are in this um, pregnancy mind game, I don't see it happening this month, okay? I mean, Empress reversed, um, Six of Cups reversed. I just don't see it happening. I think you may try. Um, that may be offered to you, like, hey, let's try to have kids. But I just don't see it panning out this month. All right, what's your advice? Some of you, your advice is going to be those last two cards, which is make an apology about something over the past, okay? There may have been some confusion over memories in your past. What I'm seeing is that's going to get cleared up. Oop, I thought something flipped over, and it did. Okay, what's coming toward I mean, not what's coming toward you. What's your advice? It's the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, this there does need to be an offer. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Cups being offered in the Knight of Cups. Um, this is getting back on the right path. That's your advice. It's being more down to earth. And um, I think I want to give more clarification. I don't usually get this as an advice card. Okay, that flipped over. Wow, okay. It wanted to be upright and then it flipped in reverse. So I feel like... For some reason, you're being given advice and you're not taking it. Um, this could also be an apology. An apology is being offered, but it's not being taken. And, I mean, this is your advice. So, 
perhaps you can offer it even if it's denied, okay, um, if that's your situation. Um, I always feel like apologies should be taken, like, no matter what, even if you don't, you know, want to reside with that person or get together with that person, you can still take an apology. Um, and it's, you're going to have to make the choice to do the right thing is what I'm seeing. Because if this is the right path and we have imbalance, I feel like, yeah, this, this does need to be corrected. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is what you're tempted to do, but perhaps we need to flip that around. Because we want some equality when it comes to giving and taking. But you, remember, you don't have to be with somebody with an apology, but I really feel like it should be taken. Um, and if your apology or your offer is not taken, I do apologize because I just don't feel that's right. But I found something. Yeah. Five of Cups and Six of Cups reverse. Let's go back to Five of Cups. And it's this disappointment in love. Yeah. Somebody was just really hurt and they feel ashamed or guilty and they want to apologize. And then somebody's somebody is too hurt to accept. But hopefully that gets switched around. Okay. All right, what is your outcome and or next steps? And the reason I pulled that out of cups is because it was flipped over and I just didn't see it. The eight of cups, yeah, somebody's leaving. Um, so just thinking back on the whole marriage idea or relationship, this can be leaving a relationship. I don't like to advise leaving a relationship or a marriage. Um, that's up to other people, but um, I feel, feel like in your outcome, since this is here, you are leaving, whether it's the past, whether it's a relationship, um, you've just decided that your emotions aren't in it, okay? Um, you're looking for something real. You're letting go of the past and finding true love. I wanna get another clarification for you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I think what you're searching for is the higher effect, but you just haven't been getting it because the fool's been reversed. Yep, Magician, you are out there to make it happen. You're out looking for the one. <laughs> um, you may be looking for an Aries. Um, but you were like, I need to do this. I'm going soul searching. Here I go. I got everything I need to do what I need to do. Yep. So whatever you're leaving behind, you're going to be just fine. Your confidence is coming back. You just had to withdraw your emotions from whatever you've been dealing with and move forward as a confident um confident person um now i do feel like this was you offering something but again i feel like it's being denied okay especially if it's a cancer or a scorpio um, or even another pisces but usually cancer or scorpio on the bottom of the deck we have we talked about aries the emperor um so this may have to do with a judge in court since i did see the hierophant um could be a husband figure as well, since we did have the Empress. The Empress was reversed, though, so I feel like wife is leaving. Um, and I'm also seeing if this is your advice, is to not seek a payout, to not seek alimony, not to try to go after money, okay? Because somebody's just heartbroken, and you could end up regretting your decision. Yeah. Somebody could actually offer you money, um, and I'm seeing you're just not going to take it, and maybe that is your advice. If it's an apology, take it. If it's a money offer, I'm seeing don't take it. If this is a religious leader, I feel as if, or even a boss, I feel like you're not going to take the advice given to you. But it looks like it's good advice with the Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it looks like really good news, like, ooh, you know, money, or ooh, good advice, or something. Um, but because that Six of Pentacles is reversed, I would rather advise you not to take whatever's being given, except a, an apology. All right, let's get you some Lenormans going over somewhere. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 
wrong way. All right, let's see what pops out for you guys. Okay. Ooh. All right, so we have coffin. Sounds bad. Don't worry. Let's see what else we have. Okay, and gentlemen, so if you're a male, this is for you. If not, this is a male in your life. Okay, it is about love at the heart here. All right, and again, this could be you, it could be a Knight of Cups. Um, King of Cups, be you. So first we have the book. Illness is known, sickness is near. Oh, it's not the book, it's the coffin, sorry. Fate has its own ending to fear. You lose your money, all's hopeless to you. And what is saddest, saddest, your courage fails too. I think that's actually how you start out, okay? It is the Nine of Swords, though. And it's followed by the gentleman. So there is a gentleman who is very sad. That could be five of cups. And it's about love with the heart here. The heart is a symbol of fulfillment and joy. Romance is in full bloom for you to enjoy. Serenity rests deep in thy heart. Loving yourself is where it should start. And here it looks like we have a page of cups. So there's just some kind of immaturity in loving yourself. And that's where you need to start. Um, in order for things to get better for you. Yeah, we have a child. So there could, there's, there must be children involved here um, for some people because we did have the Six of Cups reversed and then the Empress reversed. So it must be about children. And with the coffin, I'm just wondering if there's been a sick child. When a sweet child smiles your way, innocence brings joy to fill your day. Friends are many, enemies are few. Embrace a fresh start in all you do. Yeah, and I forgot the child is about new starts. This is my newest deck, so I'm not really familiar yet. But you are having a new start with that Eight of Cups. So, and you end up as the magician, so you can make things happen. And then we have the fox. Okay. It's the Nine of Wands, which is being very defensive. The fox is sly, a friend is too. Someone may try to deceive you. With wily glances, the Renyard snaps. Evade deception and beware old traps. So this is something that you know before. This person may offer you something. They may offer you money, an apology, whatever it is. You can accept it, but don't fall for the trap of getting back into an old cycle. This is saying you have to start things new. Once you do that, they may come you know, sneaking back in and don't let them. Um, because you're going to love yourself. Whether you're a gentleman or there's a gentleman in your life, you're putting this to rest. And some of you really are dealing with a sick child or not having children, whether through um, you know, death, miscarriage, those types of things. Um, just not being able to have them. And I actually don't see your courage failing because you become the Eight of Cups at the end, which takes a lot of courage. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, I knew that was coming. Oh, bless me. Okay. So, yeah, the Eight of Cups takes a lot of strength to leave. And then to be the magician, that's pretty much courage right there. So you're not going to let anybody stop you from what you need to do. And you're going to keep going. All right, so you're going to keep hope alive, especially with this emperor here. Definitely an action card. You're in control. 